Welcome to a Vector Tut's Quick Tip Screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham, and today we're going to take a comprehensive look at Illustrator's Character Panel. You can get to the Character Panel by going to the Window menu under the Type section to Character, or you can also press the keyboard shortcut Command or Control T. And notice there's these little triangles on the top of the panel, and when you click on them, you cycle through the various display options of the panel. So I'm going to click until I see the whole thing, including the advanced options. The first field is for the font family, so in this case I have Myriad Pro selected, but I can choose from all of the fonts installed on my system. The next field is the style, so in this case I have black, but I could change it to bold or italic and so forth. And the next field is the font size. I can just click the up and down arrows or choose from one of the presets, or I can use the keyboard shortcut, Command Option and the Greater Than key. And of course on Windows that's Control Option and Greater Than. And the Greater Than key is also the period key on your keyboard. So you can have the type object itself selected and use that shortcut, or you can select the characters with your type tool, and the shortcut will work for that as well. Next to the Size field is the Letting field, and right now you see the value has parentheses around it, and that means that this is the automatic setting. Letting is the space between lines, so right now I have 60 point type, and if I change the letting to 60 points, that tightens it up a little bit. And this is known in typographer parlance as 60 on 60, so it's the point size on top of the letting value. The keyboard shortcut for that is the Option or Alt key, and the up arrow to make the letting tighter, and the down arrow to make it looser. The next field is kerning, and kerning refers to the space between individual letter pairs. Illustrator also has a setting called Optical, which takes a look at every pair in your selected text and kerns it accordingly. Kerning should only be used for display type to adjust the space between individual letter pairs. So if I put my cursor between the R and the N, you can see in the kerning field that the value is negative 23. And this has parentheses around it, again, because this is an automatic setting that Illustrator has applied. I can tighten that up using the down arrow in the field, or I can use the keyboard shortcut, Option, and the left arrow key to make it tighter, or the right arrow key to make it looser. And of course on Windows, that's the Alt key plus the left or right arrow keys. Tracking refers to the overall spacing between letters in selected text, and that's often used for body copy text to make it more readable. A negative tracking value will make it tighter, and a positive value will add more space between the letters. The keyboard shortcut for tracking is the same as it is for kerning. So now that I have an entire line of type selected, I can use that same keyboard shortcut, Option, and the left arrow key to make the tracking tighter, or the right arrow key to make it looser. So the keyboard shortcuts are the same, and depending on whether you have the cursor in between letter pairs, or you have an entire line of text selected, Illustrator knows what you're trying to do, kern or track. You'll notice in the tracking field that the values go up by increments of 20. You can change that by going to the Preferences under the Type section. So I'm going to change it to 5 one thousandths of an M. And this is a very small amount, and M is equivalent to the width of the letter M in the given typeface. So 5 one thousandths is really small, but I like to use a smaller increment when I'm fine-tuning my type. Now I'll use that keyboard shortcut, Option and the right arrow key, and you can see that the value increases in increments of 5. If you want to go up or down in larger increments, you can add the Command or Control key to that shortcut. And if you want to get rid of all of the tracking or kerning on any given text, the keyboard shortcut for that is Command Option Q, or Control Alt Q on Windows. Moving on to the middle section of the panel, first we have horizontal scaling. I can make it bigger or smaller based on these presets, or I can enter an exact value in the field. And one thing that you want to try to avoid is to reduce the horizontal scaling to get a condensed version of the font. You should try to use Pro fonts that have a condensed version built in, rather than trying to use the scaling. Same thing for the vertical scaling, I can make it taller or shorter. And again, use discretion with this and only use it for special effects. If I enter a positive value in the Baseline Shift field, the type rests above the baseline. You can see the point there that's the baseline, and the type is higher than that. Or I can make it go below the baseline by adding a negative value. This can come in handy when you want to make an ordinal, and your typeface doesn't have that character included. Here I have smaller characters on the S and the T, and I can add a high baseline shift, and then just nudge it up with the arrow keys 
till it looks right. You can actually select individual characters and rotate them in the rotation field. And this is not something that you'll probably use very often, but it could be useful, for example, if you had an ornament like this and you needed it to point in a different direction. And then I could use the baseline shift to nudge it down to be in line with the rest of the type. At the bottom of the panel, you can add an underline to your text or a strike through. And unfortunately, you don't have options for these things like you do in Adobe InDesign. On the right is the anti-aliasing, and you can choose the strength of that here. And this refers to how Illustrator is going to display the type on a web page. So if you're creating a web application or for some other screen, you would choose the anti-aliasing here. And you can preview how it's going to look when you go to Save for Web and Devices. Lastly, we have the language drop down, and right now I've got English USA as my language. And let's say I went up to the spell checker under the edit menu. That word hola is going to get flagged because it's not English. But I could change it to Spanish under the language menu, and this time when I check my spelling, that word won't get flagged because I've told Illustrator that it's Spanish. And there you have it all about the character panel in Illustrator.